Well, uh, it's really great that we can cut audio down just by simply selecting and deleting. What we want to be able to do is actually uh, put pieces of audio onto different tracks, maybe even duplicate them, and move them around. And so that's what I want to show you how to do next. Again, we're getting into the very basics with this type of storytelling, uh, but I want to give you guys the tools that you need to just get started with this. And then, of course, you can go on to the Audacity uh, tutorial wiki for additional information. First, let's look at uh, how we create new tracks and uh, duplicate information to them. Uh, and we're going to use a duplicate and splitting to, to do this. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I have this chunk of audio. It's really just that simple with Audacity. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that onto its own um, track so that I can manipulate it independently uh, by using what's called splitting. Now, I, could, I can just split, but I want to actually split new is what I'm going to do. And the reason why I'm going to split new is because split new is going to put that track, that information, onto its own track. And now we can use another tool up here, the time shift tool. We can actually move the audio around now. So, you know, we can cr create a little bit of pauses if we needed to, a little bit of spacing. Uh, we could even take things a little bit further. Uh, like if I uh, would, I have this selected, I did have it selected. <laughs> I have this selected. I'm going to show you how to duplicate now as well, so I can put it even onto another uh, uh, track and uh, have uh, two copies of it. So I'm going to go to duplicate, and now I have two of the same track. I'll just uh, now move that down a little. I can figure out what I've done wrong here. Have the wrong tool. Okay, apparently I've done something wrong here. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure what I did that first time that caused that to happen, but I did it a second time and it just it's working just fine now. So very odd. Okay, so now I can move these independently with this uh, time shift tool, uh, so that I could actually, if I wanted to, uh, just make it repeat <laughs> itself. And let's uh, bring the press play. It's really just that simple with Audacity. It's really just that simple with Audacity. So, uh, as you can see there, there. So it, it is pretty easy to manipulate. Uh, now, um, I want to show you this tool as well. It's the multi-tool. And the reason why I like this tool is because it actually gives us the ability to do a number of things at once. I haven't shown you that the envelope tool, but we can actually decrease and increase the volume with the uh, with this tool uh, and. Uh, of course, uh, select with this tool as well. Uh, but that's another tool that we can use when we're editing as well, uh, these. Um, we can zoom in on the, uh, the audio and then, of course, uh, uh, zoom back out. Uh, we can uh, manipulate the envelope individually with uh, the envelope tool here as well. And then we also, uh, this tool, uh, I'm not going to get into as much. I'm going to let you guys play with that one. Uh, if you so choose, it's, uh, we'll get in, into a little bit more uh, uh, functionality. We'd actually have to zoom in, but basically what it's going to allow you to do is manipulate the, the wavelength lengths at a very uh, uh, fine uh, level. So uh, if, if we zoomed in and into the, uh, to view the wavelength at a very, uh, detailed uh, magnification, we could actually manipulate the information uh, that way as well. Uh, we can also import audio files. So like we have this, I'm just doing some voice over here, but we could actually bring in audio from other position places. So I can actually get import audio, and I'm just going to bring in a low quality version of some audio here. Now of course the file was just too darn big. I'm just going to go ahead and delete a whole bunch of it because I don't need it. And then this button up here, this is actually a really good button. What it says, fit project. If I click that, it actually fits everything together, and that's fine. That's enough for me right now. And now, as you can see here, it's really just that simple with Audacity. It's really just that simple with Audacity. So you can begin to create some very rich sounds. Uh, we can turn the volume down on this. We can so it's a little bit softer and 
It's really just that simple with Audacity. It's really just that simple with Audacity. Uh, as you can see there, there's... Now, so it's really very simple to create some very uh, uh, rich audio tracks. Uh, so hopefully you guys will experiment with this and play with uh, developing some, uh, some voiceover and uh, soundtracks for some of the other projects you have coming up. Some of these early projects I'm not really going to expect too much of you, uh, but uh, we are going to be exploring some different types of storytelling and that's going to require that we learn some of these different tools. So uh, there's a, a basic intro. I'm going to come back here in just a moment and show you how to export.